we have jasman with us and who recently got a 99th percentile score he did not even come with that aspiration and while he joined my team told me that he said he was weak at both quant and verbal and that he's also from a non engineering background so many people who feel that the story should resonate with you i guarantee his will surely resonate hi yes, jasman sir. first of all congratulations you said in uh, the text message that you came with a different expectation so what was the <coughs> feeling like when you got this score Uh, it was honestly surreal. So, uh, I remember I the data insight section was the last section that I was attempting, mm -hmm. and in the last five minutes, my thought process was um, like I I genuinely thought that I'd have to appear for the exam again. I don't know why. I think that's basically a subconscious thought you're doing well, mm -hmm. but then you jeopardize it yourself. You think that you're not doing well. Okay. So I I was thinking like. i i don't know i think i could have messed up something right. and <clears throat> then that screen suddenly disappeared and my score appeared on the screen and i remember jumping off my chair and the invigilator came back to <laughs> seat me up and she said like this isn't allowed sir you have to remain seated i know but they should be allowing this 10 second of happiness <laughs> i think yeah all right why don't you take us through your prep journey overall and which sections you were weak <laughs> at what materials helped you more what did you practice what did you study what did you practice and then your exam experience also i'll take up yes uh, but i stuck to the time sheet like the mm -hmm. in entire timetable provided by the top 1% team mm -hmm. so i started with the con module 1 then the verbal mm -hmm. module 1 then con 2 verbal 2 likewise right, right. and Uh, then i came to the di section towards the end of my prep mm -hmm. um and um i think the one thing that personally helped me a lot is having this routine mm -hmm. intact so even when i came back home i had a even if i had a tough day and i didn't feel like studying i did not have to put in effort to think okay what do i have to study today i okay. had that in front of me so that saved a lot of um maybe mental power on my end mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. which i could devote to my studies later right um so i just came back home i opened up the timetable okay so this is what mm -hmm. i need to do today and i just used to start i did not give myself time to think verbal wasn't good for me at all i mm -hmm. remember when i started with the octave theory uh before i started with the octave mm -hmm. theory my accuracy was somewhere around i think probably 40% on rcs mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, which is not at all good mm -hmm. and then once i started inculcating the octave method mm -hmm. <clears throat> in my day to day prep in my day to day solving of rc i think mm -hmm. i it got a lot better and uh, i remember on the day of my gmat i saw a passage and i i don't know why i just smiled because it seemed so easy <laughs> Okay. So okay. because it was so structured, and I just had the octave methodology in mind, and I did it, I think, in three four minutes. Mm -hmm. Um, but then the data insight section was very tricky. Mm -hmm. Um, I mean, not in terms of difficulty, but again, in terms of time management. Right, right, right. Because it takes a lot of time, and especially the um two part analysis questions or mm -hmm. the multi source reasoning questions right. that take up a lot of time. So, what was your approach towards that? Did you practice all of the portal for data insights? Did you were you selective yes. beyond a point? Were you able to improve your pacing in that also? Just let me know. Um. Okay. So, um, on the on the top one percent portal, I solved all of the mocks. Okay. Um. But I started in the order of priority. I initially when I started, I did not plan on taking all the mocks. So I started with verbal and DI. Mm -hmm. I did all the section wise and topic wise uh, right. mocks for these two sections. Then I started with the full mocks. Okay. Uh, okay. But then I did. When all you say the mocks, mocks, quant mocks, you mean sectional tests and yeah, topic sectional wise. mocks. Yeah, okay. yeah, sectional yeah. tests. Got it. Um, <clears throat> so uh, I think that really helped. Um, because after a point, because I had done so much prep, I had practiced so much. Uh, even till the time I had finished all the modules, because mm -hmm. there's a lot of pre work, then there's a lot of post work. And the practice to this, anyway, level. yeah. There's a lot of practice yeah. even before the, let's say, mock portal, right? Yeah. Yes. So there's a lot of practice before that also. So after a point, I honestly didn't know which book to pick up and where to start the practice from. Right. So so the mocks really helped because they like had a good mix of questions and I could brush up all the topics in forty five minutes. Right, right. So 
so that i think really helped and i would definitely recommend to everybody who is planning to appear for the focus edition to please 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 complete these mocks and thing i personally feel like they really helped me um okay. in terms of my timing and okay. obviously in terms of my accuracy as well right so there is one question always asked about data sufficiency and it being a very tricky area was it tricky for you also in the beginning were you falling for all the traps or not so initially when i started yes i was falling into a lot of traps i uh, remember um when i started doing ds and there were these basic questions which said like if okay if if x is something and 5x is even 7x is even then is x even and and i did not even think about the fact that okay x could even be a fraction right so i just went on and said okay yes this is enough <laughs> so uh, initially i did fall into a lot of these traps but then after a point once you start practicing it on a daily basis you get the hang of it and then you start thinking like that okay right, what right. what is what might be hidden in the question which might not be so obvious right um so on my exam day i think the all the data sufficiency questions saved my di section right right okay <laughs> uh, just uh, another question in the mocks that you were doing or sectional tests were you able to ace yeah. the pacing in di or was it still a challenge because people have mixed opinion about it even after doing yeah. a lot of it so yeah um so i think um it was mixed on some days i used to really ace it on on some other days um the, i used to face a lot of trouble with time mm-hmm. uh, but towards the end of my prep i think i was able to finish the di section but only just in time okay. i did not okay. have enough time left for review or something and what were your official mock scores and the scores on the portal tests just give us an uh, idea okay uh, so on the portal um i don't think um i got a really good score on the top 1% portal i uh, the max i got is i think 685 mm-hmm. um on the top portal and um, on the mba.com mocks uh, my highest mock was i i gave only two mocks and one of on one of them i got a 695 So okay. my highest score till date has been as <laughs> coincidentally and yeah and and I'm glad it has been on the real exam. Okay, and please describe your exam. First of all, I always ask. You've already told you to care at the center. Was there yeah. any anxiety at all, or was it pretty usual as a day because you'd practice so much? Um. So there was a lot of anxiety. Yes. And what was the section order you chose? And the second thing was there anything unusual? How was the exam experience overall? Please describe. Um. So I think the exam experience was pretty smooth. Um. Just like any other competitive exam, I guess. Um. Um. Uh, and the order I chose was verbal, then quant, then di. Um. Because I. I have faced this issue I know for a fact that I perform well in verbal only when I'm entirely mentally free I'll do verbal and quant and then take a break before di because you kind of need to get into the head space before di right, right right um so this is the sequence I took and um the all the procedures all the mm-hmm. like facilities at the center I think were pretty apt and I faced no issues with the Um, any unusual kind of questions thing. that you faced on the exam that oh i have never seen anything like this was there a shock anything okay like uh, so there was one question uh, per se in the quant section um, mm-hmm. which had combined probability coordinate geometry and arithmetic progressions oh okay so this was a question and i just saw the question and i realized this is a time trap <laughs> mm-hmm. i i can keep doing it and probably even then it will be really hard to get the right answer so i just mm-hmm. skipped that question there was like this one question that i skipped so review edit it uh, yeah 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 i pu- i put it in review edit and coincidentally um i just took a calculated guess towards the end and that turned out right towards oh, the end okay okay yeah. that's great and uh, <coughs> tell about verbal and then also i mean okay. verbal quant yeah. di also quant one question was unusual okay yes. and yeah um other than that i think the quant section was um like pretty manageable there were mm-hmm. a couple of easy questions and then there were were a couple of medium difficulty questions and then the harder ones 
so this is something i thought which was different from the mba.com mocks when i gave the mba.com mocks um all the questions seem to be of the medium difficulty level like right. the 600 and 700 level but in the real exam i realized that there were papers uh, there were questions from all the levels there were mm. questions from 500 to 600 then 6 to 7 then 700 mm. to 800 as well um so the quorn section was pretty manageable apart mm-hmm. from this one question uh coming to the verbal i got four passages in verbal mm-hmm. one of them had three questions and three of them had four questions each okay um so i think a majority of my verbal section was the ah, reading so. comprehension um um and i think the passages were very simple mm-hmm. um like even if we practice the 700 and 2800 level of the top material mm-hmm. um and even if you practice like half of it you're very good to go Oh, um, oh. because the passages on the paper, as I said, I started smiling when I saw those passages because mm. probably even the easiest passages that I did throughout my prep were more difficult than that. Oh, and great uh, to know because you had only forty percent accuracy initially when you started. Yeah. So RC <laughs> seeming easy is good mm. news always. Ah, uh, CR any surprises or very usual type. Ah. Uh, No CR also very usual type. I got two bold face questions. Um, I think two assumption questions. Uh, okay. two evaluate and um, I think one or two um negate questions. Right, right. Yeah. And uh, D DI section, please describe. Yeah. Um. Yeah. So the DI section was um kind of tricky. Um. I um i wasted a couple of minutes on one question because uh, there was this question on conditional probability mm-hmm. um and um, it was a very tricky question but then i i for some reason knew that i can get to the answer and um it was a time trap which i fell into initially and um after that i really had to pace through my paper because i had given around 3 to 4 okay. minutes so this on this was one a two part or multi source i think mostly this two was a, part two yeah, part yeah this was a two part question okay. um and um then later the multi source questions were very easy i mm. think they have uh, on purpose tried to make it very tricky mm. um because the questions were very simple but it's just that you have to read the question very carefully the right. information was uh, it took me seconds to find the data the question mm-hmm. wanted from me but it was very important i realized that even if i wasn't reading this at a 100% efficiency level even if i re- was reading the question at a 99% efficiency level i could have missed one word which could have mm-hmm. made the entire question wrong right but uh, msr is one thing that people say is tough or at least at least frightening but yeah. you aced it because uh, you had practiced so much one and you yeah. were able to focus only on the relevant parts like yes. really really yeah. happy. and overall experience were you you said you were just about to fin- just able to finish it probably or something yes yes uh, so the di section i was just about to like finish the section i think i left one question also okay. which was a tough one All right, and uh, would you say that the practice was enough for you in DI as well? Because many people feel that this is a new section and that there is a lot of um, like yes. ambiguity or mystery around it. So, what was it like for you? Um, so I think if um you do all the mocks on the portal, hmm. I think that much is enough for the DI section. Okay. Um, because it is anyway very unpredictable, so we can't like gauge everything about the section. but as long as you have an understanding of the four types of questions that, uh, that di involves and as soon as you can keep a check on your time right right um i think you're good to go and you just have to be mentally there when you read the question for a di uh, section right. question uh, mm-hmm. because even if you miss one word your question mm-hmm. can go entirely wrong and uh, now that you are on the other side did you make some mistakes that you feel should people should not make in a preparation what are the two or three things that you will advise you must do and uh, if you made some mistakes or if you feel something should not be done what should those be so kind of do's and don'ts if you could tell please. okay um so number one do for me would be to be very very consistent with your practice i i don't know if it works for everyone but it definitely works for me 
mm-hmm. um like i would prefer studying one hour for one hour every day rather than studying for 3.5 hours on both the weekends um right. be- because that kind of uh, keeps me in touch with the entire curriculum and um i do not suddenly get bombarded with new mm-hmm. information on for two days and then i am out of touch again for five days um so my number one suggestion would be to be consistent you can practice the section you're more comfortable with more okay. and then on days when you're entirely you're fresh then go for the uh, sections that you think you're weak at and give it proper time all right and any other do's or don'ts whatever yeah uh and um other than that a don't would be like don't fall into the time trap so i personally fell for the time trap in the di section and there will be lots and lots of it um so because i fell for the time trap in the initial questions i remember i paced through the later questions and i skipped a couple of questions because i was looking for the ds sections towards the end mm-hmm. so i thought let's just wrap up the ds questions first because i'm very comfortable with them and i knew right. i could okay um get this right so i went through the ds questions first and that is why i revisited the questions later and then i ch- made a couple of changes to the two part analysis questions wow so yeah <laughs> so nobody will believe that okay time trap could also be a yeah. suggestion coming at this stage but it is something that one <laughs> must be aware of we yeah. call it you have to have an exit strategy no matter what you got yeah. to have that all right and uh, you just started working so probably you will not apply in 2024 right yes. you probably apply yes. in 2025 all yes. right so in the meanwhile finish all your know the world videos they'll really be very helpful at work also and later as well and uh, do keep in touch let us know whenever you're yes, applying sir. and uh, really awesome performance first of all and when the performance is more than your expectation and more than all your mock scores <laughs> it's uh, it's it's really a delight honestly to carry you with you and i'm i'm very very happy for you really happy for you. thank right. you sir do keep in touch do keep in touch sure, yeah. sir. bye 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 sir